Electric vehicles EVs, have ended the status quo of internal combustion engines ICE, just like ICs once displaced the horse-drawn carriage. While many people may be familiar with EV pioneer Elon Musk's Tesla, there is an entire ecosystem of battery producers and lithium mining firms that are playing critical roles in this transformation. It's interesting to know that after years of planning, China now dominates the world's production of new generation batteries that are used in EVs. By the way, thank you for watching our new channel MH Tech Talk, where we bring you up to date on all the latest tech news. So if you want to see more videos of this type, please like, share and subscribe to my new channel MH Tech Talk and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification of all our latest tech videos. Now back to our topic. In 2019, Chinese chemical companies accounted for 80% of the world's total output of raw materials for advanced batteries. China controls the processing of pretty much all the critical minerals, rare earth, lithium, cobalt or graphite, of the 136 lithium-ion battery plants in the pipeline to 2029, 101 are based in China. You'll be surprised to know that a little-known Chinese company that was founded in 2011 is now the world's biggest maker of EV batteries. I am talking about the contemporary Amperex Technology Company Limited, abbreviated as CATL or CATL. CATL is the world's biggest electric vehicle battery manufacturer. It went public in Shenzhen in 2018. The company has received widespread attention for reaching a two-year agreement with Tesla in February last year, by which CATL will supply batteries for the Model 3 produced by Tesla in Shanghai. Stocks of the Chinese battery giant increased over 230% in 2020 and its market value surpassed PetroChina and entered into the top 10 in the A-share market last month, according to Wind Data. Catel recently announced new projects for battery production in Sichuan, Fujian and Jiangsu provinces, with total self-raised investment no more than 39 billion yuan. Now the most surprising news is that Catel, the Chinese car battery giant that supplies Tesla and Volkswagen, is ready to produce a battery that can last 16 years and 2 million kilometers, or 1.24 million miles. The company's chairman Zhang Yuchun told Bloomberg over the weekend. Zhang said the company was ready to start fulfilling orders for the battery but didn't disclose whether anyone had bought any yet. He added that the battery cost about 10% more than the average EV battery. As the demand for electric vehicles grows, it is expected that most of them will be built with Chinese batteries. And most of these batteries will be lithium-ion. According to a 2019 report by Bloomberg New Energy Finance, by 2040, energy analysts estimate over half of all passenger vehicles sold worldwide could be electric. They expect a similar percentage of light commercial vehicle sales in the US, Europe and China to be electric within that time. For the foreseeable future, the United States will be dependent on Chinese supply chains to produce the batteries that power America's technologies. That will be particularly true if Joe Biden is able to implement his clean energy and climate plans that will transform our energy system, creating an even bigger role for batteries. Battery life is one of the main areas holding back widespread EV adoption and a long-lasting battery could be transformative for the industry. You should know that batteries are the most expensive part of EVs. So if one with a longer life could be transferred into a new car, it could significantly lower the price. According to user warranties, EV batteries can roughly cover 150,000 miles or 8 years. Looking at the global automotive industry chain, China for the first time has taken the lead in the world for the manufacturing of key parts. State media Xinhua said in August, in a report titled, China's dominant position in batteries needs to be further consolidated. As the United States and China face off over advanced communication technologies like 5G, the world's battery supply is not yet a major issue. 
but it will likely grow in importance if the US continues to transition away from fossil fuel energy sources for items such as vehicles, power grids, mobile phones, and laptop computers. And that could make the global battery supply an issue of national security. For nearly half a century, American politicians have sought to protect the country from disruptions caused by foreign oil producers. All of our national security decisions were set against the backdrop of what they might mean to our energy security. Following the 1973 Yom Kippur War, when Egypt and Syria invaded Israel, and the Arab nations cut off supplies to the US and allies who helped Israel. Dan Kish, Senior Vice President for Policy at the American Energy Alliance, a not-for-profit energy advocacy organization, told VOA. In 2019, the US achieved its long-held goal of energy independence, producing enough oil and gas for its domestic needs. But a major worry for America is that, according to data released from Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, a London-based research firm for the lithium-ion battery industry, in 2019, Chinese chemical companies accounted for 80% of the world's total output of raw materials for advanced batteries. Of the 136 lithium-ion battery plants in the pipeline to 2029, 101 are based in China, the firm said in May. Pini Altos, the chief executive of USA Rare Earth, said in an interview, China controls the processing of pretty much all the critical minerals, whether it's rare earth, lithium, cobalt or graphite. In addition to rare earths, the manufacturing of lithium-ion batteries depends on key materials like graphite, cobalt, manganese, and nickel. In 2019, China produced 64% of the world's graphite, having 24% of the world's reserves. China has only 1% of the world's cobalt reserves, but it dominates in the processing of raw cobalt. China is among the five top countries with the most lithium resources, and it has been buying stakes in mining operations in Australia and South America, where most of the world's lithium reserves are found. China's Tianzi Lithium owns 51% of the world's largest lithium reserves in Australia. In 2018, the company became the second largest shareholder in Sociedad Chimica y Minera, the largest lithium producer in Chile. Another Chinese company, Genfang Lithium, has a long-term agreement to underwrite all lithium raw materials produced by Australia's Mount Merion Mine, the world's second biggest high-grade lithium reserve. China mines only 6% of the world's manganese, but refined 93% of it in 2019. Most of the manganese supply is concentrated in South Africa, followed by Australia and Gabon. North America produced zero manganese. Ukraine has a small operation, but it is not capable of producing feedstock for the battery supply chain. We think that for the future, the United States will be dependent on Chinese supply chains to produce the batteries that power America's technologies. We all know about the trade tensions between the United States and China. Now the question is, in future, will America depend on China for electric batteries or will Tesla start producing batteries for their electric cars? We can only guess, but time will tell. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And that's it for now from MH Tech Talk. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon to get notification of all our latest tech videos. Take care and goodbye for now.